the time is ripe. We are at a point when people are more willing to make this bridge between a memory of a human, a memory of an animal, and a memory of a cell. The fact that patterns matter on a finer time scale that we previously believed makes it possible that in the future we will be able to construct our experience based on what we know about how those patterns convert into what outcomes. I know it's very general at the moment. I don't have a specific technique to, to save yourself from, uh, from Alzheimer's, but I think those techniques might exist and it's, and it's up to us to find them out. And, and that's a big part of our message to the world that when we're saying cellular memory or cellular cognition, we're not using these words in quotation marks, we mean them literally. We mean that the more advanced forms of cognition and memory are built upon these molecular tools that have been around since before there were brains and animals and, and, and humans and anything like that. So, so all of these processes have deeper evolutionary roots than we like to, than we like to believe.